Today I'll be talking about the various features of GSOS, the operating system for the Apple II GS. I'll also show you how to pimp out your GSOS environment so you can impress the ladies. Of course, they might also run away in fear when they see you collecting 25-year-old computers. Now, GSOS had a few claims to fame, but the most obvious is that it was the first color graphical user interface made by Apple. I'm using the last official version release, which was 6.0.1. Now, as you can see, it looks like your average old school GUI. Each of these folders on the desktop are actually hard drive partitions from my compact flash drive that I have on this machine, which is 128 megabytes. The ProDOS filing system used on the 2GS can only handle a maximum partition of 32 megabytes, and that's why I have four of them. So although you could get a larger hard drive, and I probably would, I wouldn't go too crazy and get like a gigabyte or anything, because first of all, there's not enough 2GS software to even fill that. But secondly, you would have dozens of partitions and it'll look pretty crazy. So here at the top, you have the drop downs. If I go to, let's say, preferences, you can see I can change some of the folder preferences. And you're seeing options that you even see today, like hiding invisible files, showing the date, the file size, the type, that sort of information. If I go to the disk drop down, I can format a disk and I can format it to a number of different formats like uh, HFS or MS-DOS. I can also erase disks and I can verify floppy disks by checking all the blocks on them. I can also view various information on uh, different files. I can stack the windows, copy and paste, you know, the usual stuff, uh, create new folders, open, close. But most of the good stuff is when you actually click on the Apple link. And if I just go to About Apple 2GS, you can see some basic information on my system. So I have a 4 megabyte RAM card on top of the stock uh, ROM 3 machine. So that's why I have 5,000 uh, kilobytes or 5 megabytes. If I go to the control panel, you can see uh, various settings that I can change. So here's the general area, changing the speed of the mouse, changing the monitor. If I go to the RAM, I can actually enable a RAM disk to be set on here. It won't show up until I restart. And it is useful in some situations, but I usually just have that disabled. And if you go to sound, you can actually change the sound that's associated with different actions, different events. And so let me just go to some random event, like uh, filling the trash. <laughs> and I have Homer laughing and then emptying the trash. And most of these sounds you can get from the system disks themselves, but I did install some third-party sounds too. So that's the control panel, and you can add your own items to that control panel as well. If I go back to the Apple dropdown, you see all these other items here. These are desk accessories that, for the most part, were third party. And so let me just show you a couple. I mean, you got your basic calculator here. But since GSOS does enable multitasking, I could add in, you know, another desk accessory. Maybe listen to some music. And then I can close the calculator and maybe play some games while I listen to it or write a report or something. I'll just play some Pac-Man for you. And the Pac-Man, that's another desk accessory. So it's not really a full-fledged game, it's just sort of a, a window that you can play on. So you get the picture. A really cool item that I downloaded was Twilight 2, which is a screensaver. So it gives you a whole bunch of different screensavers that you can load in. And so let me show you that. And so I currently have it set to snow, and I can change the settings, obviously, you know, how long the computer has to be idle and 
that sort of information. So uh, let me go back to snow and to show you what it looks like. So there you go, snow falls, and it actually falls on all of the windows and the icons and stuff too, so it's, it's pretty cool. But there's a whole bunch of other ones in here. Um, another cool one is Tunnel Game. And you can actually control this little spaceship and with the joystick or keyboard. I'll just have the computer run on auto autopilot. And so I definitely recommend getting a screensaver if you're going to be using the 2GS a lot and you're going to be stepping away from your computer just so you don't get burning. And so let me close this and you notice that my background is customized as well. I did that with Desk Maker. So let me open that up and essentially all you do is you just uh, install that program and you're able to load in pictures that you want to be displayed as the background. And I actually created my own here. And I used Mini Paint by Softest to create this one, but you could use any paint program to design your wallpaper. So lastly, I want to show you this application here. It's called Transprog 3. And as you can see, it's a drop-down interface from your top toolbar that lets you select your programs right from the window. So it works just like a start menu in Windows. So this is a must-have if you've got a hard drive and a bunch of programs and you want to categorize them in some logical way so you don't have to click through various folders and subfolders trying to find your software. So I selected Dultris from the games menu and it was by no accident. I actually wanted to plug this game and uh, give myself an excuse to show it to you. So here we go, Dultris. It's a two-player Tetris clone and in addition to the regular Tetris style gameplay, you also have some special weapons and features and also when you knock out blocks it gets transferred to your opponent's screen. So really addictive, just a good time killer if you're looking for such a game. Alright, so let me quit and go back to my desktop now. So again, just wanted to give you a brief overview, brief tour of GSOS. And I just showed you some of my favorite desk accessories, but there's dozens more that I haven't showed you. There's also various hacks that you can perform to really customize the system. But that is for another day. So thank you for watching.